Hey guys, my name is Earl. This is my first YouTube video. So I'm trying to do a review for uh, something I bought just now. It's the Huawei MatePad Pro, the 128 gig variant. This is it. So let me show you what's inside. So first thing you see out of the box is the tablet itself. So when you remove it, you actually see the accessories. So let me put the tablet to the side first. So let's see what the accessories are. So let me see what this box contains. Ah, so you actually see the cables. So the cables are USB type A to type C. See there, and then you actually see some paperwork, probably the warranty cards and stuff. It's this. I don't need to read that. And this is the warranty card. I don't need to read that also. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Ah, so it's a dongle for the audio jack. That's good. So the tablet doesn't have a, uh, audio jack, so it's a good thing the box comes with it. And lastly, the SIM ejector tool. So the tablet actually comes with uh, dual SIM support and also the SD card reader. So the smaller box would contain the power brick. So it actually says on the website that uh, it delivers 20 watts of power to the tablet. So you don't see a lot of tablets or devices that actually comes with a 20 watt quick charge. So let's put things aside and focus on the tablet right now. So for you nerds out there, these are the dimensions and the weight of the tablet as I shown in the top. So this tablet actually weighs less than the current 2020 iPad Pro. So let's check each side of the tablet. So first, at the bottom when the tablet's on landscape mode, you see where this your SIM card and your SD card is actually placed. And then on the on the sides you have two speakers. Uh, on the top you have the four microphones and the volume rockers. And on the other side you have another two speakers and the type C port. So all in all, you have quad speakers tuned by Harman and Cardin. And then that's about it. Now I'll try to open the SIM tray because in the website it actually says that it supports expandable storage and a SIM card. So it seems like an SD card can't actually fit there. Looks like two SIMs could fit there though. I actually have a SD card to really check if it really fits. It has my school stuff on it. And there's no slot for it to fit on. So that's a bummer. So let me try to turn this on so you can actually see the screen to body ratio. Fast forward this a bit so we get to skip the setup. Most of the setup I just skipped because it's not really that important for now. I just want you guys to see what the home screen looks like. So and here's a tablet and all its glory.
It rocks an 86% body to screen ratio with a 2K display and a brightness up to 540 nits. So it's very usable outdoors. So let's start talking about the OS. So here in the settings, it shows that it's running Android 10. And you can actually see the RAM, the resolution. Uh, here, let me try to tap on. See, it runs Android 10. Let me play around. <laughs> let me try to get out of here and test the camera. So here are the specs shown above. Let me use my Gundam as a model for you guys. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> Let me fix that. So I'll test how it handles objects against the light. So in the photo, the picture is very detailed because it has a 13 megapixel shooter. And let me try to zoom in here and you can see the stitching of the blanket. So the camera is very useful if you're in class and trying to take pictures of notes on the blackboard. So yeah, so let's start testing out the selfie cam. So I don't really take a lot of selfies and if you do, you usually use your main camera phone to do that. So the purpose of this is to actually test if it's good for video calls or group calls in general. But all in all, for a tablet, both the back cam and the selfie cam is actually good. For the selfie cam, it's very detailed but then the software tends to do a lot of beautification so you can't really see the imperfections on my face. So this is a clip of me trying to test out the camera for video calls or video conferencing. So all in all, it has a really good camera. It's better than most of the laptops or the webcams you get from your PC and it's better than most of the Chinese tablets released out there. Now we'll be testing for the speakers. Now from what I know, the tablet and some other Huawei devices doesn't actually support Google anymore. So I'm trying to search for YouTube on the Huawei browser to test for audio. So we'll speed this up a bit. Later in the video, I'll also include a tutorial how to sideload Google on your Huawei MatePad. So here we are, try to listen on some lo-fi music. All in all, the experience is good. There's good stereo separation and you won't be disappointed with the speakers. So in this part of the video, I'll be teaching you guys how to sideload Google on your Huawei device. So what you actually need is an OTG and a formatted USB driver. So all you need is to download a link I placed on the description down below. Then you'll just have to enter your file explorer and go inside the USB. When you see the file, all you have to do is extract it. Now when extracting it, you should select current directory and then just wait. When it's done, you select both folders and then you just try to move it. Move it towards the same USB you've been using and then move, apply all, and then merge. Now you just have to head into settings and into system and updates. That's where you'll find backup and restore. So when you press on backup and restore, you just press that, external storage, USB storage, and then you see that? Just press that and restore. The password is just 
located at the password tip so you just follow that you just click ok and then you wait and then when it's done you just go home and you should start looking for a sign that looks like a Chinese version of Google there you click that and then you just allow and activate now when you're done you just go home and you go back to your file explorer then you just go in inside the USB drive and look for a folder that's called GMS. Inside the folder you'll see 9 APK files. All of them you just allow and install them in order. When it's all done, you just head to the Play Store and sign in. Easy. When everything's done, you can head to the Play Store and everything will seem to work as it should. Now I'll show you guys, you can install YouTube from Google. You click install, everything seems to work fine and it's installing. And then you click open and then ta-da! YouTube. guys find this vid useful uh, I hope it helped you uh, decide whether or not you want to buy the Huawei Mate Pad Pro uh, actually it's still a good tablet for me it was just a bummer that it didn't actually support the SD card that I had it was actually 128 GB if you didn't actually see I also hope for those who actually bought the Huawei Mate Pad Pro I actually helped them or you guys uh, set it up uh, for a lot of people, it's actually a deal breaker having no Google supported apps for their Huawei devices. So guys, comment below what you think about my first YouTube vid. I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks y'all. Bye. Peace.